Hello guys, my name is Ruben and today I'm going to show you how you can easily buy the cryptocurrency can do uh, with Solano on your mobile device. Now it's a very easy step by step tutorial, so let's get straight into it. Now the first thing that you want to do is open up your mobile device and from there out download Coinbase and the Phantom Wallet. Now these are the two applications that we're going to use today. Uh, we're going to buy Solano on the Coinbase application and from there out transfer it to our Phantom Wallet and from there we swap it to Kendu. Now it's a very easy process. The first thing that you want to do is open up your Coinbase application. Now once your Coinbase application opens up, what you want to do is you want to follow all the cues given with the Coinbase application to actually set up a Coinbase account. Now you first need to put in your personal details and from there out verify them. Now once you've done that and your Coinbase account has been set up, what you want to do, you want to go to the top left corner of your screen where the three stripes appear. And from out here, what you want to do, you want to press the first option where your name appears, account in settings. Because here we see our payment methods. And from out the payment methods, we're going to add the payment methods in the button of our screen, as you can see, and here choose the payment method of your liking. Now, once you've done that, you can go back to the home screen of Coinbase, because from out here, we're going to buy our Solano that we want to swap for the can do token. Now to buy a Solano, we need to first fund our Coinbase account. It's very easy. We're going to the bottom of our screen where it says transfer. Now here you press deposit cash, third option. And here you choose the payment method of your liking to fund your Coinbase account. Now simply follow the cues given from at Coinbase itself. And from there you can fund your account. Now if you follow the cues given, um, your cash should pop into your Coinbase account right about here in the middle of your screen where it says cash. Now, from out there, what we want to do, we want to buy the Solano. So simply go back to the home screen. And here, what you want to do, you want to go to the uh, button left of your screen where it says buy and sell. And right here, we can buy crypto with cash. Now, from here, we search for the Solano coin, as you can see right here, or simply search it. And here we do the amount that you have in cash on your Coinbase account. Now simply uh, do whatever you want. And from there, uh, it says a preview order or preview buy. Now, once you've done that, you can simply confirm the buy. Now, once the order has been fulfilled, the Solano should be in your Coinbase account. You can find it in the crypto tab right above cash, right here. And as you can see here are four options for me because I have four cryptos in my Coinbase account. And here we see the Solano one. Now, as you can see right here, uh, what we want to do, we want to actually send this Solano to our Phantom wallet. So let's exit out of our Coinbase account. And what you want to do next, you want to download the Phantom Wallet application. You can see right here from out the App Store. Open it up. And here, what you want to do, you want to um, set up a account. So use your personal details and from there, identify your account. Confirm that it is you. Now, once you've done that and you set up your account, uh, wallet, what you need to do next is you need to go into the manage token list right below here, right in the, the button of our screen. Because here we first need to manage our token and a search for Solano to actually pull the lever and make sure that Solano is turned on. Now, once you've done that, here you find the Solano one. Now, here are four options. We have receive, we have swap, cash buy and more. What we want to do, we want to press a receive because here we see the QR code and right below the QR code, you see your uh, current Solano address. Now this is the address where you can send funds towards. Now, this is your wallet. So let's say you send from your Coinbase account Solano to this address, it will go into this wallet and you can use it from out this wallet. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this address right here. And as you can see, it has been copied. Right now, we're going to go back to the Coinbase application. And here, we want to press transfer right here. But if I press transfer, it won't let me because I'm recording my screen. So it's very easy. What you want to do, you want to uh, press transfer. And from there, you see a search bar 
on top of your screen. Now here you want to paste the address towards. Now, sometimes it asks that it is your own custody wallet. So it's your own wallet, simply press yes. Sometimes you need to verify it's your own wallet, simply follow the cues given. And from there you can go through with the transfer. Now, as you can see, I just sent some Solano to my Phantom wallet. Now let's check if it is available to use. Now, as you can see, the Solano is available on my wallet. And from out here, I can start using it. Now, what I want to do, I want to open up the Solano right here. And as you can see here, we have our available balance in the Phantom wallet. Now, what we want to do next, we want to swap the Solano for the Kendu. Uh, but the thing is, um, Kendu is built on top of the Ethereum. So you can't buy it straight on the Ethereum uh, contract address. What we want to do, we want to use the Solano wormhole. Now, this is a different address, but they add up with each other. So the market cap uh, adds up from out the wormhole to the Ethereum chain. Now, it's very complicated. I'm going to spare you the details, but it's very interesting. What you want to do, you want to go into the four tabs uh, in the top of your screen, uh, receive, send, or swap. We're going to choose the swap version. Now, what we want to do next, we have two options. Uh, you pay and you receive. Now, we're going to pay with Solano. So we're going to change the USDC to Solano right here. And what you want to do next, you want to change the uh, you pay amount in the top left corner, lift the little uh, the switch button and here you can set the USD. Now let's say I want to do $15 uh, right here. Now from out here, what I want to do, I want to change the USDC to can do, but you don't have the contract address yet. Now make sure that you have the right contract address. This is very important. So check my comment section uh, for the pinned comment and also go in the description because there I have the official can do Solano wormhole a contract address and make sure that these match because this is very important. Now I have it right here as well. The soul simply copy it. And from out here, go back to the Phantom Wallet. And what you want to do next, you want to tap the USDC. Right here, you want to go into the Solano network, right there. You search, you paste the address. And as you can see here, we have the Can Do Inu wormhole. Tap the little information icon. And right here, you see the mint, the market cap, the total supply, uh, and the max supply. Now, as you can see, this doesn't correspond with the Ethereum network because it will all be transferred to the Ethereum network. It's very complicated. I'm going to spare you the details, but this is the right one. Now, what you want to do next, you want to select this one, make sure it's the same contract address. And here you can see the fees, the price impact and the slippage. Now we're going to focus on the slippage. Now here, uh, change the slippage to 0 0.2. Go to the top right corner where the dials appear and here you can change the auto slippage to whatever you would like now don't go above to 0.2 percent because otherwise the trade will be very expensive simply use 0.2 percent or less press confirm press swap now let's swap the tokens and as you can see uh, the transfer went through and I'm now a proud owner of some sweet can do. Now for the last step, we're going to activate the wormhole in our token list. So simply go back to your home screen, scroll all the way down and from out here, press manage token list and here search for can do Inu. As you can see, now make sure to turn on the lever so that the funds are visible in your phantom wallet and then you can check the price. Now from out there, there's nothing you need to do anymore and you are a owner of Kendu. Uh, now, if there's any other questions regarding uh, Kendu or anything else surrounding crypto, leave them in the comments down below and I'm very happy to help you. Uh, if you want to join the Telegram group of Kendu, look in the description of my video. Also, we have the Twitter page there and the other contract addresses for can do. Now, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a comment, uh, make sure to subscribe for following content and thank you for watching.